if you created your house design in Sculptress, there's going to be a little bit of a different process to get this ready for 3D printing, but it's almost the same, it's maybe an extra step. So what you're going to do is, um, in Sculptress, you're going to go over to the left here and you're going to go to Export, it says OBJ, and I'm going to call this my tree house, and I'm going to hit Save. And now I'm going to close out of Sculptress because I'm done with that. And I'm actually going to open 123D Design, which is the program that we um, also used. Once 123D Design is open, you're going to click, uh, go up to the menu here and click Insert. And this is going to let you select your uh, OBJ file that you just exported. I'm going to click Browse My Computer and then Browse. And Right here I'm already in documents and it says treehouse.obj and that's what I just exported so I'm going to hit open. So um, right now the rotation is a little bit off on this so I'm just going to click on the object and then go to move and I can actually rotate this to make it more upright which will make it <clears throat> be important when we do 3D printing. The final thing that I want to do in this program is actually give it a flat bottom. That's really important when you're 3D printing to have it really flat. So in order to do that we're going to add a primitive box and I'm just going to drop it somewhere. It looks really enormous right now. So I'm actually going to click on it and then right here there's a scale tool and I'm going to make it um, 0.5 a factor of 0.5. Let's see if that makes it a little bit smaller also means that my tree is kind of um, kind of small, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is um, move this block down and all I'm going to do is use this to make a flat bottom for my tree. So I'm going to move this and you can look at it from different viewpoints to see 3D space is weird because sometimes it looks like it's in one direction it looks like it's there and the other direction it doesn't. So I'm going to rotate it a few times and you can see I'm finally getting into position here. And then I'm going to move it up and I want it to just just go just a little bit over the bottom of the bottom of the tree right there. And you can see even still from this viewpoint it's not quite um, not quite in the right place so I'm going to go up a little bit more and just over. So it's going to just cut off just a slight bit of the bottom just sticking in a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to the combine tool next to the T to the left of the T and I'm going to go to subtract and then it says target solid mesh that means that that's the thing I want remaining when after I subtract so I want the tree to be remaining and then the thing that I'm using to cut the tree is the box so I'm going to click that and finally I'm going to go back up to combine and click subtract and it may give you a warning. If it gives you this warning, try hitting OK and uh, giving it a shot and seeing what happens. It may take some processing time. It could easily also just make 123D design quit. So let's uh, wait a moment and see. Okay, after a little bit of waiting, it actually did cut the bottom. So now the bottom is nice and flat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to 3D print. It's going to open a tool called Mesh Mixer. Okay, so once this file is open in one two, I'm sorry, in Mesh Mixer, um, it's going to sometimes it appears really tiny. I wouldn't worry about the size right now. Just notice that it says Model Repaired. This program just fixes the model so it'll print better. And then you're going to click Send to Makerware. Okay, so now once you're in um, MakerBot software, it's going to look like kind of like the 3D printer. Um, box that we have. Um, and what we need to do is just a couple things. We need to make sure that the the um, object is rotated correctly. Right now it's so tiny that I'm going to actually scale it up first. So I have to, in order to scale it up, I have to click on it. Um, so it's yellow. And then I'm going to click scale. I'm going to click it twice. And then one of the things, um, we're going to make the, the largest size 50 millimeters. So in this case, the largest size is the Y. So I'm going to type in 50 here, and it's going to update the other dimensions. See, so notice it's 35 and 33 now. So I can see that this is not rotated correctly. So what I'm going to do is click on the turn button now, and I'm going to try flipping this. 
there we go. And finally, I just want to do a move and I want to click on platform and center. And that's it. You're ready to create the 3D file. So you're going to go up to export print file. And it's going to do an export and it might take um, some time. So be patient with this. It'll show you the progress. Okay, so what it will show you when to finish exporting is the print time. This is showing 37 minutes and filament is just the material that we're using and how much it's using. Um, this is all fine, so we're going to hit export now. And when we do this, it's going to ask us to save it here in a minute. So you're going to, it might the screen might look like this um, when you open when you open it and it might try to save it to a folder called things so you want to make sure sometimes it defaults to this folder right here things you want to make sure that you put it in your documents folder so I'm going to click on documents and then I'm going to definitely put my name in the file so I'm going to say fry tree house and um, I'm going to hit save what you're going to see over here is it's going to do several processes, so you have to kind of just wait and let it do its thing. And then I'll show you how to verify. Okay, so now that um, it's finished exporting, I'm going to go to my Finder, and I'm going to go to my Document folder so that I can find make sure that I actually have my file. Um, so I remember I called it Fry Treehouse, so I'm looking for that. So there it is, Fry Treehouse. X3G. X3G is the type of file that you want for 3D printing. This is the actual printing instructions for the 3D printer. This is the file that you're going to turn into your um, digital art assignment folder. And once you've turned that in, you are finished.